Namaste, Swamiji. Pranam. Namaste, Namaste, Namaste. Namaste. Uh, Swamiji, I have a question on Antyeshti, the funeral rites. And uh, this is something that happened with me in the last two weeks. Uh, because my I lost my father-in-law. My wife is there in Kerala. And she's the only child. And she doesn't, and she has, as you know, she has only two daughters, right? So my father-in-law, her dad wanted her to do all the funeral rites. So when time came, when she stepped up, the local community, the society, and the whole neighborhood in general stopped her saying that a female cannot do the antiheshti and you're forbidden from doing it. So she asked those people from where they're getting the references from, because the Vedas clearly don't say that. Manusmriti also talks a little bit, but it does give rights. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think Garuda Puranam says that as well. But none of these people who stopped her were willing to answer her questions. And when she mentioned a few examples that happened in the last five years, they kept saying that these are all people coming from very high political backgrounds. And for them, it's allowed. But for a regular people like you and me, it's not. So I really wanted to know why is it and where are we going wrong and uh, what needs to be done? So See, this particular aspect we can discuss today because um, Andhyashti Samskara is uh, one topic which will come as a part of Shodasa Samskaras, which we are going to take here. So this part, the second part of your question, we can discuss today. See, the, the, this is the result of uh, sheer ignorance. Only ignorance, nothing else. Because if, if a man can do Andhyashti samskara of his uh, father or mother, definitely, without any doubt, a woman can also do. There is no doubt in that. Because see, in Samskrita, son is putra and daughter is putri. Putri is, uh, is a word which is derived by adding stri pratyaya to putra. So, the basic meaning is the same. There is no difference between putra and putri when the basic meaning is concerned. Only to show the gender, putra and putri differentiation is there. And what is the meaning of putra or putri? One who is saving their parents from hell, Naraka, is putra or putri. So if a putra have the right, putra has the right for doing antiyashti, definitely putri also has that right. There is no doubt in that. So there is no meaning in, in a saying a girl cannot do, a daughter cannot do, a, a woman cannot do. There is no meaning at all. But see what happened. We passed through a dark phase in the, in the history of uh, Sanatana Dharma. Through a dark phase we passed through and uh, all sorts of nonsensical things like, uh, like uh, Jati Vada and Linga Vada creeped into our Shastras. Jati Vada is uh, in the place of Varna, which is more scientific and rational, came illogical, unscientific and superstitious system of Jati. That is one thing. And the other thing is, only man can do this and that. Woman cannot do puja. Woman cannot uh, do homa. 
she cannot even chant veda see if she is chanting om namah shivaya no it is uh, sinful she can chant namah shivaya she cannot chant om why because she is a woman she cannot then what are the jobs she can giving birth to children then work in the kitchen these are the two works she can do so this is the effect of ignorance and passing through an a, a dark face of our history so those who are staying in that darkness even now they will obstruct no you cannot so she asked from where you are saying this what is the reference what are the uh, what are the text you are you please quote that they cannot because there is no such a textual things and even if they are quoting some text no doubt there will be some smrutis not shruti not shruti there is no such barring or limiting in the shruti of course there are many many smrutis which says you cannot do only man can do this only man can do this those smrutis are written by men and that is against the heart of shruti there is no doubt in that so manu himself says ya veda bahya smrutayaha yascha kascha kudrishtayaha sarvastha nishphala proptaha tamo nishthahita smrutaha those smrutis which are against the inner teaching inner message of veda we have to we have to denounce them we cannot accept that because they are they are staying in darkness the smruti itself is staying in the darkness then how we can accept that so there is no meaning at all and after all even if you can bring some quotation sanskrit quotation from some shastras there is one basic question mother is your god father is your god so if mother herself or father himself ask you to do the antyashti karma then there is no need for any veda any shruti or any smruti ah huh? there is no need for any shruti or smruti quotations because very 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 personification of that divine who is uh, our mother and father when father asked to do that my daughter must do my antyashti nobody has the right to prevent her nobody has the right she must not pay any heed to them if they are saying so we are we are going we will not take part in this right then she can say please you go that is good because i am doing as per the sayings of my father he is the first pramana for me his words are the first pramana because this is the body of my father and it was his wish that my daughter must do this then who are you this is the question she must ask she need not ask for any vedic uh, say injunction because my father is my god and he asked for that so it is my duty to do that so barring women from doing such activities is the effect of utter ignorance even if there are shastra pramanas those shastras we cannot accept because they are against the inner teachings or inner message of veda that is the answer uh, regarding antyashti we can we can discuss another day because it is a part of our topic shodaksha samskara namaste